Hi baby, thank you. Love you. Okay. I'll call you when I get there. Okay. Sexy. Okay. Do I need to talk louder? Because I definitely can, but it's cold as heck, and I'm going to be driving to my best friend's house. I, oh, I got to text my best friend first. Hold on. Okay, I'm on my way to uh, BB's house, so I don't even know what we're going to be doing, but all I know is it's freaking cold. And... I did not go to sleep until, oh my gosh, of course there would be construction. If you know me, you know I cannot multitask, honey. Oh my gosh. I should have did my makeup today, but honest, honestly, I'm not, I wasn't feeling it. Like, you don't have to do your makeup every day. I've been telling myself that I've been really wanting to drink water, well, more water this year, and here I am. Well, okay, I'm giving myself, like, a soda in the morning for the caffeine, even though I know it's a bad way to get caffeine. Oh my gosh, these roads are bumpy. Okay, but anyway, I told myself I was going to drink more water this year, which I think I have been. So, we're just, I'm, I'm holding myself accountable with the weather. Okay, let me get to the weather really quick. So, the weather has been so dry and so cold here that I've been waking up with, like, the driest skin ever. And I bought, like, Cetaphil or Cetaphil lotion and the body wash because they say it's, like, ultra moisturizing. And I've been using it, but I wake up in the morning and I'm, like, cracking like a fish. And I don't know if this happens to you, but it literally, like, hurts. So, I've been, like, just rubbing Neosporin <laughs> when I get out the shower all over my face. First, I put Neosporin, then I put Vaseline on my lips because it cracked right here. And, like, it was bothering me so much because it was, like, a little black dot. And I just ended up peeling it off, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I should have never did that because it hurts. But, anyway... That was the whole reason why I brought up weather. Oh my god, I have dry throat. Ugh, I needed water. Okay, what was I talking about before I started talking about my dry, crusty ass life? I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out. I'm all over the place. My best friend got her daughter some roller skates for Christmas it is the cutest thing it has like unicorns and and she loves them she uh, put them on and immediately I want to say like five minutes maybe not even five minutes a few minutes into it she literally just caught on now she just needs to like practice her um, like how to actually roll my niece is four where am I getting out with this? Whatever. So she's so excited. I'm excited. I love her. So James is then going with me to my best friend's house because he wanted to go on TikTok live and game a little bit and just like talk to people. So my husband is like a huge gamer and I know nothing about it. I used to play Halo with my brothers when I was younger. Um, and that's about it. Oh my gosh. I thought I was getting pulled over. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I really thought I was getting pulled over. It's not even a cop car. What was I saying? So, when it comes to gift giving, especially to my husband, I can never wait to give him the gift because... I'm so excited for him, and he's, like, super excited to open it, and 
but I got him the Xbox, the uh, Halo edition one, which I had to go on Facebook Marketplace and like literally just tell the first person I saw because it just came out at that time. Tell the first person that I saw like, okay, I'll buy it for what price? I got juked. Okay. I got robbed because literally a couple weeks after that it was in stock at the store for $400 less than what the heck I paid for it. I paid for. Paid it for. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm trying to say. But like I was so annoyed so I (laughs) asked my husband I was so like Babe, do you want to, like, just sell it and get some money? Like, oversell it, like how that guy did me? And then just buy him another one and then, you know, pay the bills with the remaining cash. He was like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's what we're doing. Ooh, what is he selling? Oh, they're selling honey and it's fresh. Okay. House hunting is not for the weak, and it is definitely not for, like, the easily influenced. Like, you really have to have your mindset. You need to be strong-willed, strong-minded, have, like, you can hear other people's opinion, but definitely listen to your own and go off, like, your own likes and dislikes and stuff, because that's just what it is. But anyways... When we were looking at houses, all I wanted to see were new builds. So that's what we saw. Then we saw the model homes. And I was like, okay, what's standard in the home? And then what is considered an upgrade? When I tell you, everything in the dang house is an upgrade. And it's not even a cheap upgrade. Then I asked them because, like, first of all, I'm not trying to use my entire mortgage loan like nobody can afford that in this like day and age let's be real Um, it's ridiculous so reflecting back on it we definitely should have just got a condo or a townhouse like during that time actually we should have bought during covid um and freaking i just ran a red light oh i'm definitely getting pulled over knock on wood our mortgage was going to be six thousand dollars and i'm not about that life i don't have that kind of money my husband and i do not want to be house poor and that was literally going to make us house poor because we also have two kids and when i say two kids i mean we have two fur babies who are bougie as heck i always feel like they're bored Yeah. Did I just miss my best friend's house? No, I didn't. Okay. Wait. No, I didn't. Wait. Oh my gosh, where am I? No, no, I didn't. Wait. Oh my gosh, get it together, Jojo. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. I'm literally almost there. I'm like five minutes away. But, yeah. My husband is, of course, James. You gotta say it like that because we went to a a drag queen um, show and they were, (laughs) they asked him for his name and he was like, James. And then the drag queen was literally like, James? (laughs) I was dying when that happened. But yeah, so now when I (laughs) talk to him, that's how I say his name because it's a total vibe. Yeah. But I just got to my best friend's house and I'm hungry. So I hope she was Oh my god, also I got my little squinny a present. I wrapped it. It's a hummingbird feeder because she saw the hummingbird feeder that I have at my house and she loved it. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna wash it make you know sugar water and then try to set it up in a place that's like sunny but also high enough to where like other bugs don't get to it
Dang, taking so long. It's cold. <laughs> oh, it smells good in here. Betty was playing video games. This is part of you. Do you appreciate it, Gina? <laughs> so, Costco came through with the 25 macarons. And you know how I was talking about I wanted to drink more water? Well, I already failed. I got a ginger ale instead. And my niece and I are watching uh, Grumpy Cat. It's a soul-sucking bastion of consumerism. What is it? Okay, so I'm at my best friend's house. And everyone is out. Okay, so we're literally getting ready to uh, go uh, get coffee. Because everyone woke up. Yay. Um, but... I have to like stay in my car for a little bit because my battery is dying and I'm recording on my phone because I'm not buying a vlogging camera. That's so crazy. I'm charging my phone a little bit. I think I'm either going to take my car or my best friend's car. I just got off the phone with my cousin. I literally had a breakdown because work is literally stressing me out. And my cousin and I work in the same industry, but in different departments. She is senior implementations and I do project management. And like literally, I am the most introverted person, unless I know you. And of course I chose a job that requires you to be extremely extroverted. Yeah, extroverted because I wanted that challenge to step out of like my comfort zone and just really go for it. But it is the most stressful, like of all, especially because it's the beginning of the year. Oh, but yeah, so I like had a mental breakdown with my cousin, cried a little bit. <laughs> And I hate crying because, like, I always get that tired feeling after. So, uh, now I, like, really need coffee. I'm going to help my best friend with her homework and play with my niece. And, you know, have her roller skate around the house. But that's what we're going to do right now. James is at home. I think he's going to go live on TikTok. Um, what time is it? He's. I think he's going to go live on TikTok in a little bit and just stream um because we finally hit a thousand um followers on tiktok so he's excited about that and yeah huh <laughs> Good job! Good job! <laughs> 